What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the new iPad mini Retina. That's kind of weird how Apple released this thing just the other night. They put it up on their online store without actually announcing when it was going live uh, at like 3 a.m. my time. So I picked it up. Uh, here it is. I'm going to be unboxing it for you guys. So let's go ahead and flip it over on its back and let's cut this plastic away. Just tear this plastic off. Slide the lid off here and reveal the iPad mini retina. Uh, so as you see, this is the white slash silver model in 16 gigabyte, and it is the Wi-Fi model also, so that's that. Set that to the side. Under the iPad is all of the information, so we'll have the quick start guide, stuff like that in here, so let's lift that up. So there it is, iPad mini, and it shows you where all the buttons are, uh, some more information, and then of course, Apple stickers, like always. And then of course, we've got the power brick, as well as the lightning cable for charging. All right, so here's the iPad mini itself. Let's go ahead and take this plastic off right here. Grab it on a peel. Peel it off here. And there it is, the iPad mini retina in white slash silver. I'm sure most of you guys have seen an iPad unboxing. You already know what to expect. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a little more. Here is the iPad mini retina versus the original iPad mini. So here's what's changed from the iPad mini to the new iPad mini retina. Obviously the screen is better because it is the retina display and it has a resolution of 2048 by 1536 at 326 pixels per inch. Compared to the original iPad mini, which is only 1024 by 768 at 163 pixels per inch. As far as the design from the iPad mini to the iPad mini 2, it hasn't changed at all. The only thing that is different uh, is the iPad mini retina is actually just a hair thinner uh, coming in at 0.29 of an inch, whereas the original iPad mini is only 0.28 of an inch. The retina iPad mini also weighs a tiny bit more coming in at 0.73 of a pound, whereas the original iPad mini is 0.68 of a pound. Other than that, there is no noticeable difference from the first generation iPad mini to the second generation. Now what is a big difference is what is actually inside. The iPad mini retina has the same chips as the new iPhone 5S and the new iPad Air. It's got Apple's A7 64-bit chip as well as Apple's new M7 chip. Whereas the first generation iPad mini has Apple's dual core A5 chip. According to benchmarks, the iPad mini retina performs five times better than the original iPad. Uh, so we'll definitely have to test that out in a video. Alright guys, there you go. There's my unboxing and quick first look at the new iPad mini retina. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click the like button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right there for more videos just like this on the iPad mini, on the iPad Air, and lots of other tech videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.